Hi, this is Celeste with the Celeste Report. And today we're going to be talking about a, a little bit about the cell cultured meat. We're going to be talking about meat today, but there can be cell cultured other products such as plants. And also, how do they compare to 3D? We're not going to go into all of that today. Today, we're going to just do a little mini boot camp on what is cell cultured meat and how is it getting to America. So the USDA recently issued the first ever inspection grant to a large scale cell cultured chicken factory in North Carolina. The facility is owned by an Israeli company that goes by the name Believer Meats. You need to understand that Israel, the state of Israel, is very pro-biotechnology, meaning that it is open to synthetic biology and mixed species, even though the first book in the Bible clearly says each into its own kind. Why is this? They believe that rather than to violate kosher, they would rather have synthetic biotechnology foods that would not be classified as food in the Bible so that they don't violate kosher. My problem with this is that a number of Israeli companies are bringing their ideological practices into our food industry in America at the last part of this year and it going forward into 2026. The USDA has approved Believer Meats uh, with a product labeling opening the cell cultured meat to the American consumers. What you're going to be getting from the FDA more than likely is just a QR code on the back um, that refers you to the FDA site that says this product is either cell cultured, 3D, or synthetic or biotechnology. It is not going to tell you the ingredients that are in that product if it is natural or not. And a lot of times they use the word natural, and as we all know, it does not mean natural. Although a number of states have sought to ban production of cell cultured meat, North Carolina currently does not. And as we have found, and as we have all learned with organic, the regulations around the word organic are so large that you can drive a Mack truck through it and there is large enough loopholes for exploitation and to get around it, if you know what I mean. So I am putting in the description uh, the National Ag Law Center that will tell your specific state by high, it's a hyperlink and tell you what your state, do they allow cell culture products as food, as food or not? This is Celeste with the Celestial Report, and we will see you the next time.